In this example, we're going to continue looking at factorising quadratics using the cancelling method. However, there's something you need to look out for in this example that didn't occur in the previous ones, and if you don't spot it, the method simply won't work. Before you apply the cancelling method, it's important that you check for a common factor in all of the terms. In our example, we're going to factorise 4x squared minus 2x minus 12. Notice that there's a common factor of 2. So before we apply the cancelling method, we're going to pull that factor of 2 out. Now that we've done that, we can apply the cancelling method to 2x squared minus x minus 6. We want two numbers that multiply together to give negative 12. And we want two numbers that add together to give minus 1. The numbers we're looking for are negative 4 and 3. So let's set up our brackets. We need a 2 on the outside, and then we want 2x in each of the brackets. In the first bracket, we'll put negative 4, and the second bracket, positive 3. Now we'll look for some common factors. 2 and 4 has a common factor of 2, so we'll divide this bracket by 2. That gives us x minus 2. 2 and 3 don't have a common factor other than 1, so we leave that as 2x plus 3. And there's our answer. OK, here's a question for you to have a go at them. Pause the video and then come back and check your solution against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution. If you got it right, move on to the next part of the lesson. If not, I'll go through my solution now. To begin with, we need to notice that each of the terms has a common factor of 3. So we'll pull that outside the brackets. Next, we'll factorise 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 using the cancelling method. We want two numbers that multiply to give negative 18, and the same numbers must add together to give 7. The numbers we're looking for are 9 and negative 2. Let's put it all together. We've got a 3 on the outside. We'll put 3x inside each bracket to begin with. And then we want plus 9 and minus 2. The first bracket has a common factor of 3, so we can cancel. The second bracket doesn't have any common factors other than 1, so we leave it unchanged. And there's our answer.